Welcome back to Gomer Play Zoda's Revenge Star Tropics 2. Last time we went through ancient Egypt, we met Cleopatra. What a babe. And we got the second Tetrad and the Psychic Shockwave. But now we're in Baker Street in good old London. Jolly good London. And we'll see how much I butcher the English accent. Alrighty, so not much we could do. Just got talk to holy shit is Sherlock Holmes. Good evening. Allow me to introduce myself. The name is Holmes. You mean Sherlock Holmes, the great detective? Well... Yes, I do like a good mystery. In fact, I have concluded that a robbery will occur in the museum tonight. A rascal by the name of Zoda X intends to steal a most curious stone. Zoda X? Zoda, I've heard that name before. Oh? Well, then you shall help me catch him red-handed. Meet me at the museum at the stroke of midnight, and don't be late. Yeah, like I said, butchering the English accent. <laughs> oh... But it's fun. I have fun. And of course, the way you can do it is just practice, man. Uh, I don't think there's anything in there. Um, just try and find your way to the museum. Where does it go? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Museum Joe? Uh, and we just look around. Oh, hey! Officer, can you help me? A little late to be going to the museum, isn't it? Hmm, suspicious. Come with me! And you get thrown in jail! What are you in for, pal? Don't even try to get out. This place is escape-proof. If you say so. Long live the queen. Yes, escape-proof. Right. When you can just walk through a wall. <laughs> yeah, that always works. Okay. So now we get to try and find the museum. And yes, you have to be taken in. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. And walk through here. Huh? Hey! A sleepwalker. <laughs> that works. All right. So here we are, finally, the museum. Let's go. And... Aha! Just in time, Waltz, uh, Mike. Come, I will show you the stone. A tetrad. Quickly, you reach for it, but suddenly... Uh-oh. Ha ha ha! I've got the tetrad now, Mike. Zoda, that alien scum. Weak human, you'll never survive the power of the mighty Zoda X. Oh yeah? I survived a spaceship crashing into the ocean. Granted, I was saved by a dolphin, but still, I survived it. The game's afoot, Mike. You give chase and I will cut him off. And, well, we can take a moment before we give chase, because we can go right in here. Get a big heart. Yee! <laughs> ah... That's a good thing about this game. The, the hearts, the life increases in the hearts, they, they feel a lot more consistent and more often than the previous game did. Which I guess offsets some of the difficulty that this game puts out there. Some of it some of it nice and usual. Uh, I say usual. Uh, some of it of the fake, fake difficulty. This. These moving platforms. You can and sometimes will walk off them to your death. You have to be very, very careful. You might even see me do it at one point. Or just miss it completely! Like that. Yeah. At least I don't have to worry about powering up my main weapon. Main weapon will always remain at the same strength. It's the Psychic Shockwave once I get the later versions. That's going to be... Uh, that's going to be uh, the one that changes, so... Uh, God damn, that was... That was annoying. And very stupid of me. Oh. Oh. But I think I can make it up there. I think I can. I think I can. Ow. 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 Motherfucker. Fuck you. Whee. Okay. So, like I said, uh, I think I said in a previous video, when you're up on this, it gives you a little bit of extra boost. There you go. I love that. Oh. Oh. Now. And you can still make it up there. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yay. And we open the door. Uh, and it's just a little bit of a shortcut. <laughs> there's, there's like more area up, up, up uh, to the north of that, but you don't have to do it if you know the shortcut, and you're confident enough in your jumping skills. Ah, uh, that's what I like about some video games. You know, they give you like multiple ways to do it if, if you actually take the time and figure it out, or if you just happen to notice it. You know. Uh, or, or at least what I consider good video games to be, you know. Multiple ways to solve problems. 
Uh. Ah, here we are. Hey, weren't you guys in Egypt? And you jellyfish too? Uh, I wonder. There we are. Again, don't get, don't let these put you into the water. Mike can't swim for some reason. And this is your introduction to multi, um, you know, multi-level uh, enemy placement. If you're on the first level, if you're not on the same level as the enemy, as you've probably noticed before, uh, you, oh, hi, mini boss. Zoda. This little brain thing. So here's what you have to do. You have to jump from here. Hit this as often as you can. And you gotta repeat all of this several times. Oh dear. If I'm a little quiet, it's because major concentration mode going on. Holy shit. Uh, this is always a little bit... Ooh, whoa, wow. But you can tell when he's getting closer, so... Uh... Woo! Oh, wow, that was close. And you still gotta open up the damn... thing. The damn thing. Because, why not? At least these, you can't accidentally walk off into the water. Woo! Ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, yes. So, Zoto runs off. You've done it. I have three hearts. Oh, dear. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. Okay, so we give chase. And he walks through the water. You can see where he goes. Not that there's many places he can go. You can tell he has webbed feet. <laughs> okay. So we can just grab these. I think there's something on the other side too. Um, yeah, it looks like it. Whoop. And whoop. And whoop. There we go. Ah. Uh, for, for as much difficulty, fake and otherwise, as there is in this game, there are some... There are definitely some... Uh, ow! Saving graces. Uh, where they make it a little easier on you. So so they try and balance it out a bit. Uh, the door is open, but I need the switch. Where's the switch? Is it over here? Oh, there it is. And whoop! What's this? Oh, these things! The spinning discs of doom. <laughs> oh, big rats. You know, like like the fucking bears and, and... Ow! Oh, you motherfucker! That hurt. That hurt, you asshole. Okay. And... And... Ah! Yeah, come here. Thank you. Oh, hey. Oh, what a, a treasure room. There's like a couple of these in this level. And I believe both of them give you medicine. I'm not sure. But at any rate, that's not the way we need to go. We need to go this way. Woo! Uh, oh, hey, timing puzzles. Because everybody loves timing puzzles, right? <laughs> you know, I, I think that in order to be like a really good I think that's a staple of pretty much most video games unless it's like RPGs and even then it depends on the RPG um, that that, it, that uh, you have to have some kind of a timing puzzle you know because you need reflexes and shit you know oh hey little shit okay come here come here you little shit ow my phone also says hello. I don't know who's emailing me or who's messaging me, but my phone says hello. Eh, because, you know, there are, di there are days you forget to turn off your cell phone before you do this. But you know what? In instead of being overly embarrassed by it, I try to work it in because, you know, that's what you do. Ah! However, that is not what you do, though. 
Oh, that was horrible. Oh, wow. Wow. That is like beyond stupid. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ah, okay. So don't do that yet. I lost my medicine, but look at this. We can get more. <laughs> I think it's medicine. Yep. See, told you. Ah, so there is that. Uh, let me try over here. Whew. Ah, you can get even more medicine over here. Ow! 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 Come here. Oof. That's not good. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. That was horrible. I believe the middle is where I need to go. Ah, come here. Come here. Thank you. Eh. Okay. That doesn't open up anything, but something here will. And you know, walking around like that looking for the little thing to light up, that's a lot better than having to jump on everything. Woo! Okay. Mm -hmm. Fucking rats. Come here. Come here. Come here, you little rat cheese. Come here. There we are. Open the door. We don't need to go up, because that was where we went and nearly died. <laughs> okay, here we are. Whoop! Next area. And whoop! Oh, dear. Hey! Possibility for a one-up. Let's see. Sweet! I got a one-up. <laughs> Alrighty. Eh, more timing, more timing. Timing! Yes. And again, if you walk off of you can you can actually walk off these to your death if you're not careful. Uh-huh. Woo! Anything else? Nope. Okay. Whew. We get the special weapon of the dungeon again. Yay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever designed this level must have been laughing their ass off. And I believe this was, um, you know, I think this was made more for American audiences. So I think Nintendo was like, oh, you thought Super Mario Brothers 2 was too tough. Oh, we, we gon, we gon, oof. I think it was somebody wanting to show that, yes, indeed, Americans can, can be hardcore with their gaming difficulty. I think. Alright, what's over? Oh, medicine. Good. Birds, not good. Oof, that was close. Okay, ah, I forgot. Yep, you gotta jump. Ow. Yeah, what's also not fair is they can still bap you. Ow. Come here. Come here, you little assholes. You little regurgitated Zoda parts. Ah, fuck you. Oh, speaking of Zoda. And special weapon time. Eee. Shit. Yeah, Zoda's... Uh, Zoda... Zoda X. Shit. Only one of them hit him? God damn. Yeah, these are supposed to be more powerful than the dagger, I believe. Or at least just as powerful. He's actually being quite generous with his attack patterns. Because there is one... Ooh, wow. There is one attack he'll do. He'll raise his arms and, you know, those big fires will surround me. Only in the cardinal directions, thankfully. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Do not jump into Zoda. Oh, good. Ah, Dino Zoda. Do we have to worry about him? Nope. Whew. Wow. That was really anticlimactic. 
Uh, but, you know, Zodax is done. He is gone. Oh. Uh. And we get the Tetrad. Why he puts it ahead of him, I don't know. But, oh well. Uh, and, of course, life increase. What? We're already starting on our second row. And this is, what, chapter four? <laughs> uh, sweet. And we got to say goodbye to Sherlock Holmes. Well done, Mike. You are a very clever sleuth. Do you know of this stone? You tell the story, blah, tetras, blah, 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 blah. Of course, from Zoda X, I deduced that there must be a Zoda Y and Z. Hurry, Mike, you are not alone in the chase for the tetrads. Make haste. You shout, thanks, Sherlock, I'll take it from here. Of course you will, because you can time travel. <laughs> uh, of course, magic words, boom, bop, mow, mow, all that good stuff. This radical, Wee! <laughs> Oh, So where do we go next? <laughs> Not a fun. Just go through time without a TARDIS. Uh, yeah, that that can't feel good. Hmm. If Doctor Who is anything to go by, you can't going through without a TARDIS just uh, cannot feel good. Especially when you land in the Old West, another desert. Really, really another desert. Okay. Uh, but hey, you know at least at least it's you know American. I don't know. <laughs> Music's kind of catchy, though. Oh. But at any rate, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. And if you like this, do you can do the usual things like subscribe, comment, blah, 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 blah. Or if you really want to help in a more direct manner to help get things such as new equipment, new games, like the games I can get on Steam or what have you, uh, you can head over to patreon.com slash gomer21xx. And for as little as $1 per production, you can get videos like this early before anybody else. And... Hopefully by the time this video is up, I'll have started doing commentaries on all my older review videos from like 2010, 2011, that sort of thing. And, um, you know, you guys will get to see that and, and all that stuff. And all patrons will get to see that like a month or two early. So, so they'll, they'll, they'll be in there for a while. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys for watching. And until next time, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, is signing off.